Huh. MagSafe. This is going to be fun. Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today I am coming at you with my one of my favorite cases to review, and that is a Magback case. I really like cases that do more than just be cases that have different types of, you know, uses per se, whether that's kickstands or holding an S pen or, uh, you know, doing some kind of MagSafe type situation. Uh, and so, you know, Mag Magback is well known for having cases that use magnets in the side of them. So we're going to take a look at this case here and uh, see what we got. So we're, uh, we're going to be looking at the Magback wallet too. So we're going to take a look at that uh, after we take a look at the case. So let's go ahead and pop open the case here. This, uh, Magback always has cool boxes. They just kind of slide open like that. And here we go. Here is the case in the box. And let's pull it out. Man, that baby's in there oh yeah good one uh we got an alcohol pad uh some 3m tape and another thing that magback has which is super cool is they have their own mounting system of course you know mount uh, magback's known for uh their ma magnetic mounting system before everything started going mag safe on us uh they had their own proprietary magback or uh, magnetic system and this is one of them so this is like a car mount um or a wall mount, or a desk mount, or wherever you want to stick it, uh, your case will stick to it. It's got really, really tough magnets, so we'll take a look at that a little bit later. That's what the alcohol pad is for, is to install that guy. So here is our case, and man, I, I, I reviewed the one for the S22 last year, and this one feels exactly the same to me. Really, really well-built cases. Magback always has super well-built cases. It always feels really sturdy inside of my hand and they get these magnets put inside of the back of here however you will see something brand new for the s23 and that is magsafe now if you watched my previous videos i am a huge huge magsafe fan uh even years ago when magsafe first came out and i started putting uh videos out i thought that for sure this was going to be the future of not only just wireless charging uh, but just how you mount your phones you're going to make all kinds of mounts and stuff for them and the uh, wireless consortium apparently agreed with me and so now the key the chi wireless standard i think it's 2.0 is now basically going to be a uh, magsafe version of it so apple has given up their rights to uh, have magsafe all by themselves and so now we have MagSafe, which I am super excited about to try that out. So first off, I want to show uh, something very unique to this particular case. And this is this double layer magnetic shield here. Because, you know, RS-23 here has something awesome that most phones don't have. And that is that S Pen. And so you want to be able to make sure that S Pen still works good. And magnets can screw that S Pen up. So uh, they put this double shielding in here. Uh, it worked fine on the S22, so we will test it out on the S23 since now it even has another layer of magnets. And so we'll see how it goes. So uh, right now I can tell you it's like a like a soft, rubbery feel. Super great case. Gives you some great grip and uh, looks good. So let's go ahead and put the phone in there. Should be pretty easy to snap in there, and it is. So there it is. So nice and easy to install. And let's start, uh, let's do a 360 on here. So right here at the top, you got a nice big uh, mic hole right there. Coming over to the right side, you have uh, your volume up, volume down, and your power button. And these are uh, not, it's not open, so they are covered buttons. So that's pretty good. And feel nice and clicky to me so far. Over here, you got that little loop. So if you want to put a little, uh, you know, hand loop or something on there, Coming over here on the bottom, you got a nice big giant cutout for your uh, charging port, which is good. That way you don't have to worry about what kind of um, cable you need is stuck in there. And then over here is a nice uh, perfect uh, speaker and then a nice, um, nice embedded area for the S Pen. And this looks thinner to me. I don't have my S22 uh, Ultra case with me, but this feels like this is a little bit thinner, like not as thick. So he's maybe a little bit easier to get that out on this side we have absolutely nothing and on the back here you can see a little bit of mag back uh, branding there with their cool little logo 
And then I really like uh, the uh, the way the, the cutouts for the camera are. And you can see that the camera is not going to be touched. It's going to be it's completely embedded in the case, so uh, no problem there. And so let's take a look at the front real quick here. The front, we got some nice uh, resivity, as people say right there, uh, and on the front here, and then just a hair on the side, which is good because you don't want this thing to stick up too much on the side. It really screws up your side swipes, if you ask me personally, uh, you know, and so I don't really like that too much uh, when they're too high, but this one looks like it's going to be on point for sure, so... Yeah, so you'll be able to hit it there without any problems, and you got your back going to be there. And I can tell you it's sturdy, really sturdy, so I would not have any problems dropping this either on the corners, the side, and even the front. I think it's going to be okay. So this is what I would consider a protective case, unlike, um, you know, like a Pataka case, which is super thin, which is not super protective. But I would consider this uh, a protective case. Uh, just, you know, just below like a big old beautiful UB Pro that you can pretty much run over it and throw it against the wall. So I would say for day-to-day -day use, this one is going to give you plenty of protection, uh, give you some drop protection, which I will not test because I have to buy my own phones. Um, but, uh, of course, the big, the big exciting part here is the magnets uh, in the back of this phone. It has an array of magnets uh, that you can use the... Um, this little mount here, you can see. So let's take a look at what we got here. So it should have, yeah, so it's got uh, a set of magnets right there. And I believe it has one on the side. And then, yep, one there on the side. Uh, so you can go uh, vertical or horizontal. Uh, it has one here on the bottom also. And then it has one here on the top. So you can go any direction. So you'll be able to mount this any way you want. But not only that is there's magnets inside of this uh, case that lets you stick it to anything uh, metal. So if you have something metal you want to stick it on, uh, you can stick it on something metal. So it sticks really well on uh, anything metal. Uh, so, you know, gym equipment, your refrigerator, whatever the heck you want to stick it on, it will just stick it on there and hold it. And it holds it really well. I mean, this is a heavy phone to begin with. And you put a case on it, it makes it a little bit heavier, but... I think they made this lighter than the last year's model. I feel like like this one's a little bit easier to handle, so not real sure. But And then uh, the big exciting part, of course, is the MagSafe. So you'll be able to stick that right onto the MagSafe. So there's MagSafe magnets right in there. And oops, and if you saw there, uh, this is wireless charging uh, accessible. So bam, get some wireless charging and charging... Uh, compatible so that feels like it's on there pretty decent um, we're gonna stick it on a few mounts and see what we got I got a mount in my in my Tesla here um, so we're gonna stick it on there and then of course I love MagSafe so most of my chargers that I use every day are MagSafe compatible so I got one there and then of course you know you got to have uh, the perturbatory mount in the shower because I got to have my phone in the shower with me also and that's also MagSafe and as you can see uh, this works super super good with uh, with that too so all right let's get back to that uh, now of course MagBack has a lot of its own accessories that use that cool four magnet thing and one of those is a wallet so MagBack also sent me out the wallet and I've done a full review on this wallet uh, if you want, if you wanted to check that out, I'll put a, um, I'll put a little uh, a link to that. So my main wallet is the Magback wallet. I've used this wallet since uh, my last review. I absolutely love this thing. It replaced my Apple uh, branded wallet. Uh, this is still a great wallet. It uh, and what makes it really good is you can put uh, four cards in there at least. So I got four in there. They fit in there pretty good. And then you also can put, um, it's got like a little shield right here. So you can put other stuff inside of it, money, whatever you want to uh, on the other side. So it's got like a little thing in there that you can separate it from your cards. And then the best part is this little loopy thing here. So you got like a little loopy thing here. And then underneath it, you got the thing to push out your cards. So it's super easy to get your cards out. And my cards always stay in there. I've never had any problems. Um, so they sent me another one here and this is exactly the same. It's got the nice loop and I'll tell you what you can do with that loop. So we're going to slap it on here 
And just for just for an FYI, uh, these are also MagSafe. So if you wanted, uh, if you had uh, an iPhone, let's say, let's check out the iPhone here, uh, and it's MagSafe. It's actually MagSafe too, so you can use that uh, on anything that's MagSafe. Your iPhone, uh, any kind of you know other case. So if you're switching cases like me, you still got that uh, MagSafe compatibility in the wallet, uh, but you do have full mag back capabilities on this wallet here which is super cool uh and it's super strong and what you can use this for is so if you wanted to use if you're like a pop socket and or like a osnap user so here's a magsafe osnap uh 2.0 right there so if you if you're one of these folks that need like a little thing on here this has uh, this wallet has the built-in finger loop, so you can actually just put your finger in there and hold your phone up, and it works good. That's the other reason why I like my uh, wallet, and I've had this guy for so long. Pretty much any phone I snap it onto, I usually have some kind of MagSafe compatible case on it, and so you can hold that on there, and it's pretty strong, as you can see. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere, uh, especially when it's attached to this case because it uses not only the MagSafe, but... Uh, the uh, mag bag uh, cases but this gives you a few advantages over like a, a regular just mag safe wallet and one of those is the stand so as you can see there that's got it, it actually attaches to um, that magnet that's up here in the case and so you can kind of you can just pop that in there like that and then you can use it as a case right there itself so if you're going to hold that up there like that, it'll work just fine. It also works on that side. So on these two magnets here, uh, you can have that hold that up there kind of like that. So you can do that. So if you need to hold it up there and I think it works on this side here. Uh, so if you're going this direction, you can also have that baby hold that up there just fine like that. Uh, so that is a huge plus. So if you're, if you need something to, plop your watch up your i mean your phone up chilling uh watching something reading something uh while you're uh, you know getting your latte at starbucks this is uh pretty good and then voila it just snaps right back on there and then you got yourself a loop and nice wallet uh great case again like i said i really like the cases that allow you to do multiple things that have you know holders in them or uh, something else that you know makes it you worth uh, you know bulking up your phone a little bit because man let's let's be honest this s23 ultra is beautiful when it's naked so when you're throwing a case on it you want to you know get some more usefulness out of it so let's go ahead and try that s pin while we're at it here so let's push that baby in there and oh yeah super easy to get out no problem uh, let's start us a new note um let's get a new note going on here uh hold on a second all right so man that is dirty dirty so now let's go ahead and take a look uh we're gonna go straight across look at that samsung love that sound anyways as you can see there is no dead spots on any of this here it is working just fine it is super good and you can right right on there so don't worry about that happening and then if you add even more magnets to it like that's got even more magnets to it uh we can see that it still is working just fine so i know there's some of the uh, thinner cases that are magsafe that work okay with the s pen but as soon as you put a magnetic accessory on there it no longer works good so this one with that double shielding in there shields all those super strong magnets too um Let's go ahead and just double check. So this baby is super strong here. So we're going to put that one on the back there. Let's go. Let's get this guy out one more time. And let's go ahead and try it even with that. Yeah, see. Working fine. Even right over where that, even right over where that big strong magnet is, you can see that we got plenty of action going on there. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. So no worries there. Uh, <clears throat> real quick guys i know somebody's going to ask me uh that wallet kind of pops up over here so if you have to take this off you're going to use your zoom you do not uh you do not have to do that as you can see here i'm going to drop this into 10 which is going to pop that um beautiful 10x and look at that look at that oh that is so good anyways uh yep so no no camera problems won't have to worry about that at all 
All right, guys, that is uh, all I got to show for you today for this fantastic case. Multiple uses. Uh, I really like it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to punch out of here and get some B-roll so you can see this baby in action. But thanks for staying to the end, and I will see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.